So, what's next? Finding Lady Myrna, so it seems. From what I heard, she's a renowned soul searcher. A soul searcher? Oh, for the dead God's sake! Is there a problem? Can't stand them. Con men and women preying on people gullible enough to believe them. Well, I don't hate them. Don't tell me you're actually buying their hogwash. I don't. But at the very least, I find it entertaining. Great. You'll do the talking then. I know who you are here for. Your elusive master, Alpharius. That is correct. Sit down. First things first, let me decipher your spirit. Not you, priestess. There is little light to shed on your soul. No shadows within you. You're a setting sun. A perfect orb of searing light clearing the path ahead. To scrutinize your soul would be as pointless as looking for shadows among the flames. Maybe. But for the young man painfully dragging himself at your side, it's another story. A story worth telling, actually. Oh, no. Please, no. Sit, boy. There are plenty of shadows to go about in your tormented mind. Let me approach these unwanted zephyrs. Yeah, no, I'll keep my thoughts to myself if you don't mind. We're here for Alpharius. Do you know where he is? For me to answer such a straightforward question would be an insult to the grand, ever-changing order. Life cares little for simplicity. And truth seldom reveals itself to such tedious inquiries. Like a worm, you have to writhe your way through darkness to find it. If you want me to reveal Alpharius' whereabouts, you will have to let me scrutinize your soul first. That's what I figured. You soul-searching people just love hearing yourselves prattle on about the lives of others. No need to be so rude, Darian. If she can really read my soul, then the way I talk will soon be the last of her worries. I can tell you that. <laughs> my, you're a lively one. It will be enjoyable indeed. So, sit. No getting out of this, is there? Keep in mind, I'm not like the wide-eyed teenagers that come asking you for advice, Myrna. The war is behind me, and there's little innocence left in me for you to exploit. Know that for my predictions, I need a small part of your essence, but a tiny fragment of your soul. It's customary for soul searchers to ask you for a part of your soul before they predict your future. It's only for show, though. They don't actually take anything from you. Lady Myrna just wants you to voice your consent. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, okay. Take a part of my soul if you want. Be my guest. Just don't go complaining afterwards. Come, forsaken shard of destiny! Come, pledge of days long past! Let this carmine crystal be your new home! Is that it? All right, you can go through your usual routine now. Ooh, ah, I'm sensing something. Great destiny ahead. Then, ah, the light on your crystal goes off. It's the first time it happens to you. Then you tell me, I can't see it. I can't see your destiny. I don't understand. The star shines over your fate, young man, but I can't see what it is. But it is a great one indeed. There, I just did it for you. Just let her focus. I see. It seems you are wounded, young man. Beaten but unyielding. Torn yet still whole. Pride is your crutch, justice your path. 
You've been walking on the edge for some time now, unsure whether to take the leap. Your path will take you up hills and down vales, but always the edge alongside. Of these happenings, you're the unwilling actor. You long for nothing but peace. You are trusting the path to take you where you must, looking for an omen to help you make your choice. Yet... That's enough! I let you have your fun, play out your little performance. Now, tell us where we can find Alpharius. So impatient to meet your fate. I just told you that your trip will take you to many strange places. One of these is a veil not too far from here. In its crucible, a handful of people. Lost, the whole lot of them. Amongst them, a prisoner by the name of Calder. Calder? You are to free him from his jailers. After, and only after you've done it, will I reveal Alpharius' location to you. Excuse me, but I think Alpharius would want to meet us as soon as possible. You know my conditions. Whether you choose to meet them is up to you. If there is no other way, then we will do it. What do you say, Darian? Yes, we'll do it. I'm surprised, Darian. You didn't even argue with her when she tasked us with finding this Calder. That's because I know him. At least, if he's the one I'm thinking of. Who is he? A fellow soldier, and a good man. We both served in the same company. If he's a prisoner, that means... He's probably a deserter, just like you? Probably. I understand why you accepted so readily. If he's a deserter, though, that means his captors might be fellow soldiers. If possible, I'd like to avoid harming them. We will find a way to free Calder without violence, then. Calder, a fellow brother in arms. I really wonder if it's merely a coincidence. Of course it is. She's no seer. But she... I won't back down!
this! Soldiers, and quite a lot of them. Calder is there, all right. The other prisoners, they're wearing branded clothes. Deserters, they're as good as dead. not just about Calder anymore. I can't just turn a blind eye. I gotta help them. Help them? And go against the whole garrison? If that's what it takes, yeah. But we are completely outnumbered. I won't fight them. I simply cause a distraction to allow the prisoners to flee. 
you stay hidden, okay? I'm not going to compromise your reputation on this. If anyone sees you helping outlaws, you'll be excommunicated on the spot. Wait a second. Actually, I'm thinking of something a bit more cunning. Something in mind? Maybe. We have seen a lot of Orokos in this region, and I have a few ideas on how they might help us with this delicate mission. Delicate mission, Orokos... There's no way this could go wrong. But we have to find a big one, first. You were a scout in the army, right? For a time, yes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, I'll find you some Oroko tracks. The biggest one you can find. This is not necessary.
I will commend your soul to the gods. We have no quarrel with you. Please go. strength.
Darkness before dawn. Let's end this, quickly! A prayer for your wayward soul. <laughs> 